Hey there, handy friends. Tonight I am making rose hip syrup. And so I love my rose hips. You know that I harvested these ethically on my own. I've done a few other videos about rose hips. Um, these are some of the larger wild rose hips that I found. Um, spent a few days, as you can see. I didn't get to the syrup as soon as I would have liked. But I'm going to show you here that I take these ends off here. This is where the rose grew. And then take the stem off. So take these little ends off there. And then take the stem off. So that's what I did with the entirety of this bowl. And then I'm going to put them in here and I'm going to give them a good rinse in some water. And I'm keeping an eye for the hair. Rose hips have hair inside of them and it can be quite itchy. So throughout the video, I'm going to show you how we avoid the hair on the inside while we're making this wonderful rose hip syrup. Alright, and coming back, I have my rose hips all cleaned up and washed. And now the next thing I need to do is measure them because for every cup of rose hips, I need a cup of sugar. So here we go. See how much we've got. And then I was going to use this bowl, but why? They're actually going to go right into this saucepan. So there's roughly one cup. We'll just say one and an overflowing two. So for every, so I'm just basically equal amounts of sugar per rose hip. So I'm going to remember that. And then the first thing that I need to do is um, cover these with water. So I'm going to go ahead and cover these with water. And then I'm going to take you over to my stove area where I am going to get these started. So as you can see in my saucepan, I just barely have the rose hips covered in water and I am gonna bring this to a boil and then I'm gonna turn it down and simmer it for five minutes and so while I am working on that I am gonna get my sugar pre-measured into this bowl here so I had one There's one, and then I had a heaping. Oops. All right, so that's about equivalent. And yes, this is a lot of sugar, but I'm making syrup. And um, this is gonna be, I'm mainly gonna use this for sweetener, for tea but it can also be used for um, the base for homemade ice cream or sherbet as well as um, a drink mix whether you wanted to add a little bit of um, vodka or something nice like that with it so it's going to be a sweetener and it's going to uh, be mainly for tea in my household but it's used for many different things this uh, rose hip syrup Let's talk about some of the benefits of rose hips while I have this simmering. So they're a great source of vitamin C as I've talked about before in previous videos that you should watch. And they also have a really good source of vitamin A, D, and E that a lot of people forget about and I do too myself because these are um, so much higher in vitamin C than uh, most fruits. 
So um, they have also been shown to have anti-inflammatory effects and really good to help relieve arthritis. So this is going to be really good for me and my family. And then back here I have my muslin um, that I basically I just wrapped my sieve in muslin. And I'm using muslin because you want a really thin uh, drain. You don't want any of these hairs, these itchy hairs in your syrup. So that's my next step. I am almost done um, with what I need. We are done simmering. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my masher and give a couple good mashes. And you just want to be very gentle and light or your syrup will be really hazy. So trying to be gentle and light. And then I'm going to um, remove it from the heat and go ahead and pour it. into the sieve here and strain it once. And so the reason why I am doing it into another saucepan is because this is going to be what I'm what I'm using to um, add my sugar to and heat that up to make the syrup. So add a little bit more water back into the first pan. Get that warming up. I'm gonna turn my temperature back to a medium, medium high for a boil. And then I'm back here straining my liquid out as you can see. Trying to mush it down. Not too much. And then it's hot, mind you. Pull the cloth up. Get a little bit more of the juice out of there. The tea. This is official rose hip tea here. Not very much. And so now I'm going to repeat the process. Clean off my spoon a little bit. Add back the rose hips, keeping my the one side of my um, cloth clean, my muslin cloth, because I don't want those hairs. I'm still I'm trying to keep the hairs out. It's a messy job. All right. Adding back. See, I added almost just the perfect amount of water. And I'm going to bring this back to a boil and do this again a few more times until I um, feel like I'm getting all that I need out of the rose hips. And I fill this saucepan back here around halfway so I have enough to make some syrup. Here I have my discard and then here I have measured my um, liquid so for every cup of this liquid gets a cup of sugar and I'm gonna go ahead and mix in the sugar with the um, rosehip tea and I've got that warming up on the back on the boiler there all right, in goes the sugar. And then I don't want this to boil. I just want it to be um, a medium, just enough to where it's very high simmer, but not boiling. And so I'm gonna do that. And then once I get it to that simmer, I'm gonna simmer it for about five minutes and then I'm gonna let it cool and empty it into my bottle. So I let it simmer around 10 minutes. I wanted it to be frothy like this a little bit. Um, I wanna make sure it's gonna thicken a little bit. 
So as it cools, it'll thicken. So I'm going to let it cool for around 20 minutes and then bring you back while I bottle it up. It all cooled down and I've got it poured. All my syrups cooled down and I've got it poured into some jars that I'm reusing. Some um, with some good spouts. This is from syrup and this is from some hot sauce. And um, you can see the color is very nice and it's not murky and so pretty excited to have it and there you, there you go that's the rose hip syrup if you like what you see don't forget give me that thumbs up please subscribe to my channel for more videos and stay handy friends